Welcome back to Primetime Local News. Brett Holden filling in for Bucky this week, and this is the last time you will do so as we are saying goodbye to you, yeah. uh, unfortunately, at the end of the week. So we will definitely be doing some sort of um, reminiscing on your time here, <laughs> at least, and your impressions of sports over the last couple of months. Um, start with a quick look ahead though and um, we've got the immediate future we've got badminton to talk about so um four barons teams off to regionals uh competing on the SAS side of things and then on the alberta side we have uh 17 holy rosary athletes over the course of 10 medals or 10 teams individual and teams um going to zones on the alberta side so basically total dominance in badminton in this local area. Right, exactly, and, and just how important that is for the program as well, just being able to see all those different uh, athletes being able to go and compete for those uh, um, different medals and, and accomplishments, but also just the volume of, of uh, players that are going and the volume that it speaks to uh, the coaches in the program around the school too. For sure. You see that dominance in both uh, women's and men's side, the mixed, several good mixed teams as well. Um, so that regional and zone competition, those will take place this weekend. Uh, zones, in fact, for the Holy Rosary athletes out in St. Paul. That's actually on Monday. Um, also coming up here, you have, so you have the Lloyd Extreme, their season coming up soon. You have baseball just around the corner, um, which already has been around the corner for us, is the Red Dog season. Um, we always can't seem to forget that uh, spring football actually starts in April. Red Dogs are 3-0, had a really close one over the weekend against Battle River, just winning by a point. So that's a little closer than what they're used to. But something definitely to build off of as well, obviously, somewhere that isn't home for, for uh, the Red Dogs too, but uh, being able to uh, kind of win on the road like that and somewhere um, in Battle River is definitely something that they can build off heading into uh, the, rest of the, the rest of the season. And just a couple of games left for the year. Um, that's their one home game will be that uh, last week. Now, what's been your, in your time here, what's been the, the couple of stories that stood out to you the most over, because we do a year-end recap every year around Christmas time. In a way, we should almost do a recap from September to April, which is the, the hockey season, basketball season, volleyball season as well. What kind of stood out to you over those eight months? Some things that uh, really stood out to me were things that I w was able to be a part of. Um, the Hockey Hookie Day was one of the things that comes to my mind for the Bobcats. Just being able to see the community around and all the kids have so much fun with the Bobcats team. Uh, definitely something that really comes to mind here. Um, staying on the Bobcats, I do want to uh, talk about uh, just the the emergence kind of, of and the different kind of team that Nigel Dubé is putting together here. I think it's going to be an exciting time coming up for Lloyd Minster and uh, the Bobcats as well. Um, the growth of hockey all around. We saw Ty Smith, a local kid, get drafted 19th overall to the uh, New Jersey Devils. And the year before, we saw Kale Clegg as well get uh, his chance with the LA Kings too. So I think being able to see those local kids kind of excel in, in uh, professional sports is something that we like to see. And of course, we have uh, Fagnan as well, who got uh, his chance at uh, the CFL Combine as well. So uh, we see a lot of growth in uh, local athletes, especially in the last uh, few months, in the last little bit, uh, last few years, I should say, and looking forward to uh, the next few years as well. As am I. It should be an exciting couple of years, exciting summer as well. Um, definitely going to turn things around talking pro sports on the other side of this hour. Um, and as you said, it's cool to see small town kids get to that professional level um, and participate in the craziness that is April, May, and June. Um, so we'll have more on that in an hour, but first, here's more on primetime local news.